We are in a salvage yard where today I'm going to attempt to get this old Ford pickup running and possibly drive it out of here all the way home. June of 1968. So this is going to be a 68 F100 assembled in Kansas City. And if it has an engine in it, it should have been a 360 V8. Well, folks, we don't have a key. You guys are gonna like this. I took my starter toggle and I ran it through the wing window. I think we've got a good truck. Well, I guess we're gonna be back on the F100 this weekend and we're going to do a weekend makeover. I, I haven't been filming it, but we did get this truck back in the shop earlier this week and tried to just button up a few of the loose ends. We have some of the wiring fixed on it. We're finally starting it with the key. We have tail lights, all the lights are working. Everything's working and now we gotta make it look better. We don't have a carpet kit for it. I need to order one, but I ordered a new seat cover and we really need to just clean the inside of it. We haven't cleaned it yet. Jack and I already pulled the seat out. I think we need to pull that rubber mat out and it's in really bad shape on the other side. I'm assuming from the heater core leaking. We'll pull it out, probably power wash it, and then stick our seat cover on the seat. I think after we do the interior, we're gonna try to make this thing shine again. Doesn't look like it's gonna be fun. It's coming out in little pieces. Yeah. Looks like it's coming out pretty decent. See, I think this adheres from that heater core leaking. The heater core is currently bypassed. I do have a new one for it though. Oh my gosh, there's so much dirt under it. Yeah, like four pounds of dirt right there. There we go. Make quick work of that. I wish my Ranchero was this solid. Yeah, this is a little nicer than the Ranchero. Look! One of the things Jack and I... Yeah, I took that one off of it. That's the original license plate. Let me see that. So this thing has been parked... It looks like I see a 2001. You for sure see the 2000, but I think there was a 1 sticker on it. So the old truck was in the junkyard since 2001. And probably a little over a year ago, we pulled it out of the junkyard and it's kind of been hanging around here waiting on its turn. But we were looking at the Ford paint codes. This is, we believe, called medium ivy green. And the 70 Ranchero shows to be the same color. I don't think so. Look at how light this is and look how dark this is. The Ranchero is. sure looks darker. I don't know, though. Maybe it's the dark ivy green and it's... Just made it out. Maybe this one just had a rougher life and it's two years older. I mean, this was a farm truck, probably never got washed. We'll see what they look like cleaned up. What are these? Inside of the doors, would it be? I think these are hay, for, hay hooks. Is hay that what hooks? these are, Jacks? We're picking up yeah. little square bales. That's cool. So, it's a farm truck. Even came with our own set of hay, hay hooks. That's weird. Just came with this random pulley. Pulley. Got some extra trim yeah and probably the second or third f100 video we got all the relate trim for this out of the junkyard we might get it on in this video we'll see how shining it up goes well, still haven't decided if we're gonna buff it or just shine it up, shine it up with some scotch bright or something i got lots of materials we'll do some testing on the roof when we get to that point and decide what we like up there before we go shining on the side of it <laughs> Is that the ticket? Yeah. <laughs> Almost need a smaller, smaller scoop shovel. This floor pan is solid. That's kind of high. I did have the truck in on the lift this week, rewiring the tail lights, and it is remarkably rust-free underneath. All everything looks awesome under this truck. For an old beat up rig that was truly a farm truck, we are really rust free. Got most of the dirt out and it is a little bit worse 
here than we thought. Definitely need to clean it up and get something on it before we put carpet in. This side looks pretty good. Jack's gonna go ahead and power wash it so it can be drying while we work on the seat and everything else. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, I got a gun rack. Yes. You think that BB gun's long enough? <laughs> got a Red Rider holder. That didn't turn out too bad. We'll leave it out here to dry for a while. We lost Jack. Today's actually the opening day of rifle season for deer here in Oklahoma and Jack went out back to try to get a deer. I am a little limited on what I can do without him. One of the things I think we can do is try to address that seat. I got a new, just another saddle blanket cover for it. So I think we'll start with taking this cover off and trying to clean up whatever's under it and go from there here's the new one went with kind of a tan color this round i think it'll look better on that green than the blue that was in there let's get this seat cover off i guess first thing is we should look for some goodies in our front pocket ah it's empty box for an extra set of points what that is linkage for something maybe a brake pedal there's that extra set of points brand new where'd my box go there we go we'll put that back in the front pocket of the new cover look at that it's like a little tiny oil can <laughs> i wonder what he was using that for that is cool. Alright, off with the cover. And that original is tan and kind of a blue also, I guess. That's probably why they went with the blue saddle blanket. Ugh. Not a terrible looking seat. I really love the upholstery designs in these old Fords. Just a nice clean design with the two-tone and the little piping here and there. I wish it was in better shape. Probably should have done that first. I think that's plenty good for what we're doing and the truck didn't smell or anything. It didn't really have too bad of a mouse problem. Let's see if we can figure this new one out. This is just a cheap one. It was about 40 bucks on Amazon. It's got the same pockets we had on the other one. First impression, I really love the way the tan looks. I think it's gonna look killer in the truck. The key is going to be to getting it on there tight. And to be honest with you, I've never done one of these. I'm going to do a little bit of research because I really want it to look good in there. We might eventually peel it off and put a factory seat cover on the actual seat. But we're going to be living with this for a while, so I want it to look as good as possible. So, be right back. Well, we got it on, and I didn't make a video on it because I found about 100 videos on YouTube here and everybody had a different way that they like to do it So this was really a learning moment. The next one I do I will show you guys step by step. I didn't get it perfect. Hop up for a minute AJ You can see my pocket along the front's not completely straight 
I've run into issues with the damage we have here, kind of bulging it out. And then also the way this hinge works, it's got a flat slide past the bottom section. But I think it's pretty tight. It looks so much better, and we'll be able to fish these seat belts through there. But I think every once in a while you're going to have to give it a little Judy chop to uh, pack your seat cover back down in that crack. And it's way more comfortable. It is a lot more comfortable. I left all my strings long for now, just in case we have to adjust it after we get it in the seat. Yep. But no matter what, it looks 10,000 times better. And while you guys were working, as you know, I love our season. I got this. AJ's birthday was last weekend. And he just went and spent a little bit of his birthday money on a new RC car. So we've got to take a break and get this baby opened up. Yeah, I made a course in the digger patch. We might film a video a little short, me driving through it. But I got to test the inside before I know it for sure works. Yeah, he made a little dirt course earlier for his old RC car. And we found out it's broken. So he went and spent some of that birthday money on another one. Yep. Let's get this dude unboxed. I spent um I spent forty dollars and she gave me change back. She did? Yeah. You get batteries? Um no, you don't use batteries. She's a plug in. But it might come charged, I don't know. It's coming out. screwdriver. Well, it came with a couple batteries. What? It came with a couple double A's, probably for your remote. I grew this much since I was six. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I grew a lot since I was six. I'm so happy that I did. I've been wanting to be taller. AJ couldn't get a screwdriver because by design, the screwdriver drawer is all the way at the top of the toolbox because when Jack was little, the screwdrivers were in the bottom box and I say little, like three, he would take all of the screwdrivers and get, he would take everything apart that he could get a screwdriver on and not only would everything be apart, I would be missing all of my screwdrivers so I had to move it to where he couldn't reach it and it's still there. I'm a hammer fan, I'm a screwdriver <laughs> And so, I know, I know where the hammer drawer is. Yeah, that being said, the hammer drawer is still where AJ can reach it. He's more of a destroyer than a taker aparter. Yeah, I don't want to take stuff apart, but that means. Got double A for the controller, I'm guessing. And then the charger? Yep. I really hope it comes charged. If it doesn't, I can be patient and wait. This is different than my other one. Because my other one had a controller that, like a gaming controller, but this one has our real RC controller. This controller, yeah. it, and my other one had like a gaming shape one that you would use on Fortnite. I love RC so much. When, whenever I can, whenever something's charging, I just watch RC on the team YouTube. And I have a RC Lamborghini inside. You do? Yeah. I think it's a Corvette. Corvette, I meant. It's cool, but you can't take it outside, so. It's, it's alive, bro. Ready, ready? Let's see it. Let her rip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this worked pretty good, huh? Yeah. You're jumping it off the chair right to, right to start with? Yeah. All right. Let's see it. Ready? Yep. Did pretty good. Yeah. The front springs are really helping. You can see that on the front axle, there's springs. I accidentally pressed the throttle. Here, Dad. You can have a rip at her. Whoops. Yeah. I like to hold it. I like to hold it like this. Hang on to the, your trigger right hand and hold that. 
And then you can drive it like a steering wheel. Let's turn it that way. Let's turn it that way. And to go backwards? Yeah. I'm putting it back to you. Send it. <laughs> You're going to break that thing in no time. Well, that's going to do it for tonight. We will pick up first thing in the morning trying to shine this thing up and hopefully finish up our weekend makeover on the old 68. See you bright and early. And we're back. Day two of our weekend makeover. I think that's what I called it. Makeover, overhaul. We're going to make it look better. And I went ahead and backed the truck out so we could get some before images. I'll give you guys a quick roll around. The hood is pretty toasted and it's not even the right color. I did hit this spot with the Brillo pad already just to try to shine the darker green up. I don't know what we're going to do about it. Probably not much because there's no buffing or cleaning that. Might just scotch bright or Brillo the whole thing and we'll see. I also did another Brillo pad or SOS pad test panel here. It looks pretty good. We might go that route but I do want to try buffing before we just do the whole truck that way. The key might be to do this and then buff it. I don't know we're gonna start probably on the roof and do a few different sections and decide what we like best I've seen a lot of different ways of people making their old patina shine we're gonna try a few of them today and see what works best for this old green most of the truck does still have paint on it I want to hit like these rusty spots up here probably with that SOS pad to try to clean them a little bit and then my goal would be to buff the whole thing i think we can make it shine because you can see how chalky that is and it's kind of striped up from when we power washed it i don't know if we'll get to it on this episode but i do have all of the trim i want to polish it and get the trim all the way down both sides and i need to polish this grill too if you have any tips for polishing these grills let me know in the comments this truck does not appear to have had a respray I think this is factory, what do they call it, like medium ivy green or something like that. Just no evidence of a respray anywhere. I think first thing this morning I've got some Rust-Oleum rust reformer. I want to clean this out and hit those rusty spots with the wire wheel and we'll shoot some of that rust reformer on them. And then we'll get a carpet kit in it at a later date. So I guess let's pull it back in the shop. We'll get to work. So we have some pretty deep pitting here. Everything looks really good except kind of right in that area on both sides. I'm just going to hit it with a wire wheel and I'll probably tape off this area and spray some of that rust reformer on it just to try to prevent it from getting worse. Rust reformer. I did throw some tape lines down so we can try to save as much as that factory green as we can. Just like that. Hopefully we can stop that rust from getting any worse. If we were ever going to do a restoration on this pickup, we would definitely need to replace this area. But for what we're doing, this will be just fine. See how we did. I think that tape line looks way better than just trying to fog it in. Perfect. Looks like floor mats. Okay, we're gonna start up here on the roof. I'm gonna start by cleaning it off. I've just got a little bit of simple green in a rag. The truck's already pretty clean. We power washed it. Well, let's stand here. Well, if you look, you find it. Grab where? Grab it. Look how much dirt. Oh, I see it. That all would have been in our foam yeah. pad if we wouldn't wiped it down first. 
we tape to our center line, we'll buff half of it and then peel our tape, see what we think. I want to start by hitting these rusty spots with a SOS pad to try to take down some of the rust stains around the bare metal. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Got Jack up here. Probably gonna be running the buffer a lot of today. Yeah. The... This isn't something I've ever done. I just saw this online. I've seen Derek with Fly Script Garage do this. And it looked really, looked like it worked really good. It does look like the water is a big help with it, so. Yeah, for sure. Oh, see how much better that looks? Yeah. Took all the rust stain around the edge of it. We're gonna start with just the Meguiar's Glaze. This is a light cut because we don't have a whole lot of paint left on this truck, so we're gonna hope to make it shine and take the least amount off as possible. Just using a cheap foam pad on a buffer. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen until you feel that. There we go. Rookie move. <laughs> Whoops. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe we know what we're doing, we don't even know it. It's shined up really good. Now these shop lights are making it look better than it actually is, but that's dry. Looks wet and it's dry and smooth. Let's see our tape line. Big reveal. Dang. I think that's the ticket. It didn't we we removed very little material and that, that's enough shine for me. I, I do think that we could do it a little faster if we got the heavy cut compound, but I think that's good enough for me. What do you think? Yeah. It looks really good. It does look really good. This is really difficult for me standing on one leg and it's not very efficient either. So we're going to try to turn over the reins to Jack. And we haven't told you guys this yet, but Oklahoma just passed a law where 14 year olds can get a farmer's permit to drive. Yeah. And we think just maybe Jack's going to be taking his driver's test in this truck. His goal is to do it in the Ranchero, but I don't think it's, it's gonna such happen. a pile. This truck's way better. We're going to get it cleaned up. That's a lot. That's a large part of the reason we pulled it in the shop this weekend. So he's going to start driving it. More buffing. It looks like that's the ticket. I do think I'll go ahead of Jack. Hit the rust spots. We got a lot of them on the top of the bed here, and it'll just be a lot of time and elbow grease. And I have no idea what we're going to do on the hood. I did see that uh, AMD now makes a repop hood for this, and it comes black. I honestly don't think just a new black. Like a uh, just a coated black hood would look bad on here. We could try to find some of this green. Don't know what the plan is, but the hood is definitely cooked, and the sides of it aren't even the right color. This does have a green paint under it. You can tell. All right, so just start maybe scrubbing in circles and see what happens. Yeah. I do see some more color coming out from under it. Me too. Oh, we look at that. Yeah, we made it look better. Kind of makes it look orange. Yeah, it made it look orange. Well, that gives it kind of an interesting look. Definitely gonna have to wait till we have a water hose to do that because it's just making mud. But I think if we could run water on it as we do that, it'd make pretty quick work of it. I do think that looks a little better than that crustiness. What do you think? Yeah, it definitely does. And I think whenever we have the water hose, it might help get rid of the orange, and then we can get back to the dark green. The problem is, I think the green, the orange is under the green. I think this was an orange hood that somebody tried to paint green to match the truck, and they didn't quite get it. Yeah, the green is on top of the orange. We need to paint this green then. Yeah, we have to find some green paint, paint one of these days. All right, he finished half the top. Let's do the big reveal. <laughs> wow. I'd say we made a difference. Yeah. That looks awesome. That was, that was so good. 
Is this before and after? I think you're backwards. Oh, not before. That's <laughs> that's before. That's after. It's so I shiny. I really like the results. I think that's the way to go. This is going to take a very long time. So in order to have any chance of getting this done today, we've got to get to work. We're probably yeah. going to just set the cameras up, put our heads down, try to make it happen. All right, let's get after it. I'm using the Brillo pads on all these rusty spots. I'm really impressed with how well it's working. If you see all this orange here, just squirt a little bit of water on there. And the, the SOS pad has that soap in it. And it's just completely getting rid of it. With very minimal effort. That is pretty awesome. We'll take a little time, but this will keep all that orange residue from getting into our buffing pad and I don't even know if we could get it off that good just with a buffer alone look at that completely gone I am really impressed with that and this wasn't my idea I've seen several people do it mainly Derek with Vice Grip Garage does this a lot saw that trick from him so thanks Derek got a lot more work to do All right, we got a little update. We changed to the wool pad and the heavier cut, the extra heavy cut Meguiar's. It is working so much faster Made and her. probably a little better. Made her dent denty. There's definitely a dent there now. We're almost finished up. This side is completely buffed. I think all we lack now is the tailgate. I'm going to start putting some wax on it. Meguiar's gold glass. Hopefully we can get finished up. It's actually the next day and the truck is looking amazing. Jack and I stayed out late last night and got it finished up. Jack actually buffed the whole thing himself. Yep. And he did an excellent job. And I wanted to wait till today to finish the video so we can back it out in the sun and show you guys how much it's really shining. Obviously the hood still looks really bad, but the rest of the truck is really shining. We got a good coat of wax on everything. And man, it looks good. It is super windy today, so we'll try, probably do most of this in here. I am not gonna put the seat back in it yet because we ordered a carpet kit for it and I don't wanna put it back in just to take it back out. So our weekend makeover, we did make over the seat, but we're not gonna put it back in. Everybody's been enjoying the seat sitting in the shop. Another thing we've noticed it really makes this dent shine. That dent looks wet. <laughs> yeah. So we may try to get in behind that. If you have any advice on trying to get that dent out of there, please let us know. It is way more noticeable now. Oh, another thing, I ordered new trim clips for it. Let's back it outside and get the, because uh, we haven't seen it in the sunlight either. Oh. So this will be the first time. Woo, that thing looks good. How does it look? It looks good. Love it. Yeah. I didn't. Can you grab me my scooter? Yeah. That definitely shows the little stuff that you maybe missed. Right. Or little spots we need to wipe better. It's funny how you can't see that at all in the shop. No. You get out here in the daylight and see it. Right. Man, does she look good. Yeah, that's just wax that we're doing. Yeah, it just needs a good wipe down. That is a incredible transformation. 
Just a weekend's worth of work, too, guys. Need a new hood, for sure. Definitely need a new hood. We're not in the sun as much over here, so you can't can't see. It's definitely not Jack pulling in here. Well, guys, that's it for this weekend on the F100. I'm excited about this truck. You know, not that long ago, I had this truck sold. Wasn't sure what the future of it was going to be, and the guy backed out of it. And you know what? I'm glad he did. I'm glad he backed out on it, because I'm pretty excited about this truck now that it's shined up. We're going to do the carpet. I ordered a new lens for the gauges. Woody's cold, wants some loving. Woody, Woody dog likes it too. He was sitting in there waiting for a ride. So I don't know what else we're going to do to it. Oh, I did get some new tires as well. We're going to have this thing on the road. I even wired up some trailer lights on it. So we're going to be able to drag a trailer. Don't know what the future holds for the F100, but it's ours for the time being. Maybe a rescue truck. Yep, this could possibly be our rescue truck. We'll have to see. I don't know. It's not four-wheel drive. I don't know if it'll pull the big trailer, but we can pull the little grow jack trailer. So. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Jack and I had a good time on the truck this weekend, and we appreciate each and every one of you. See ya.